Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to your Finding God Kindergarten Lessons. This is chapter 13 today. So if you do not have your Finding God Kindergarten book out yet, please take that out and turn it to chapter 13, which is on page 75. So please open your books and turn it to page 75. And it looks like this. All right, please pause this video if you need a moment to find the page. So, have you ever been surprised with something? Maybe it was a birthday party or a gift or maybe even a pet. Have you ever been surprised with something like that? Yeah. What's the best thing about a surprise? Can you tell me? Those are all great things about surprises. I think the best thing about surprises are that they're unexpected. We don't expect them to happen. That's what makes them special. So the title of chapter 13 is God Sends the Holy Spirit. This is a very important lesson for us. So please pay close attention today. So there's a poem on the first page of our chapter, and we're going to read a poem about a surprise that happened to Jesus' friends. So the title of the poem is Gift of the Spirit, and I'm going to read through it once and show you the hand gestures that go along with the poem, and then we'll all read it the second time together and do the hand gestures. So it says, Jesus ascended into heaven. He went up to our Father. You raise your hands like this. His friends felt alone, so they prayed together. The wind blew. A mighty flame. They were filled with love. Put your hands on your heart. When the Holy Spirit came. All right, do you think we can do that all together? Great. So here we go. Just follow after me. Jesus ascended into heaven. He went up to our Father. His friends felt alone, so they prayed together. A strong wind blew. A mighty flame. They were filled with love when the Holy Spirit came. Great job, boys and girls. Thank you for participating in that with me. All right, so there is a prayer at the bottom of page 75. So please fold your hands for prayer. It says, thank you, Jesus, for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Great job. Let's turn to page 76. 76 looks like this. This is the page we're on right now. So, how can we surprise our neighbors so that they know they're loved by Jesus? Yeah, there are lots of ways we can do that. The Holy Spirit helps us to do the right thing, always. So, page 76 says, the Holy Spirit. Jesus promised to send a helper. The helper is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit guides us. We receive the Holy Spirit at baptism. So we all have the Holy Spirit with us, and we receive the Holy Spirit when we were baptized. So it looks like the term Holy Spirit is bolded, which means that we can find it in our glossary. So according to your glossary, the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. Can you say that after me? Trinity. Very good. We're going to learn about the Trinity today. The Holy Spirit is our helper and our guide. Very good. So, what did, do you know about your baptism? Do you remember or know anything about your baptism? It's probably way back and you don't remember. I don't remember mine either, but 
I do know that your godparents probably held you and the priest poured water over your head three times. He baptized you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That's what happens at baptism. At baptism, we become members of God's family, the church. So it looks like there's an activity on page 76. It says trace the letters to complete the sentence here. So it looks like you're supposed to trace these letters. So please pause this video now and complete the activity. Welcome back. Thank you for completing the activity. The sentence should say, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those are the words the priest says when you are baptized. So let's look at the blue box at the bottom of the page, which is the reading God's word feature. It says, you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And that is from the book called the Acts of the Apostles. And when this was written, Peter, remember we talked about Peter being our rock? He was inviting a crowd of people to be baptized. About 3,000 people were baptized that day. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right, so let's look at page 77, which looks like this. This is the page we're on right now. So on page 77, it says, we believe in one God. When we pray to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we are praying to the Holy Trinity. The Trinity is three persons in one God. The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. The Holy Spirit stays with us always. So it looks like the word Trinity is bolded and it looks darker than the other words, right? Yeah, so that means we can look it up in our glossary, which is in the back of the book, like we just did. And according to the glossary in the back of the book, Trinity is the mystery of one God in three persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. This is a mystery of the church, which means we'll never be able to fully understand it. Um, until we go to heaven. But there's one God and three persons. God the Father, God the Son, which is Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit, which we're learning about today. <clears throat> Tri, which is at the beginning of Trinity, T-R-I, means three. There's a lot of other words that begin with tri, like tricycle, and a tricycle has three wheels, right? What about triangle? Triangle has three sides. Triplets, do you guys know any triplets? Triplets are like twins, but there's three. So it's three babies born at the same time. And then Trinity, that also begins with tri, T-R-I. And it's three divine persons in one God. Isn't that cool? Looks like, it looks like there's an activity on page 77. It says, sometimes we use pictures to show each person of the Trinity. Number the boxes one, two, and three to show the three persons of the Trinity. So let's do this activity together. So who do you think is the first person of the Trinity? Do you think it's the father, which is the picture with the cloud? Do you think it's the Son, which is the picture of Jesus? Or do you think it's the Holy Spirit, which is the picture of the bird or the dove? That's right, it's the Father. So you can put the number one in this box right here. Let's move on. Who do you think is the second person of the Trinity? Do you think it's Jesus, which is has the picture of Jesus, the Son? Or do you think it's the Holy Spirit? which is the picture of the bird or the dove. That's right. It's the picture, it's the sun, the picture of Jesus. So you can go ahead and write a two in this box. That leaves 
the Holy Spirit or the dove to be the third person of the Trinity. So you can go ahead and write the number three in this box. Very good. Thank you for completing the activity with me. So let's look at the green box at the bottom of the page, which is the I go to church feature. It says, we see signs and symbols of the Trinity in church. There are lots of signs and symbols of the Trinity. Have you ever seen a three leaf clover? Yeah, they're all over outside um, in the grass. That's a symbol of the Trinity because there are three leaves on the clover. Um, or you could call it a, a shamrock. So there's, there's lots of different um, symbols of the Trinity that we have. All right, let's turn to page 78, which is our yellow prayer page. It looks like this. So this is the page we're on right now. It looks like the boy in the picture is talking and listening to Jesus in the quiet of his heart. Be still and open your heart to Jesus when you pray. God the Father is our creator. Jesus is the Son and the second person of the Trinity. God the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity, like the activity we just completed together. We pray to one God in three persons in this special prayer that's on this page. The prayer page says, praise the Trinity. Think about each person of the Trinity when you pray this special prayer. Has anybody ever heard of the prayer or said the prayer, the glory be? That's great if you have. If not, that's okay. We're going to pray it together today. This is one of the easiest prayers that you could probably learn. It's very easy to learn, and I bet you'll learn it really quick. So we're going to pray the glory be together. Um, so I'll say a line, and then you repeat after me, okay? So hold your hands. Glory be to the Father, and repeat after me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, is now and ever shall be, world without end, world without end, amen, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Great job, boys and girls. Thank you for praying the glory be with me. Pretty soon, you'll know that prayer by heart. All right, so let's look at page 79, which looks like this. It's the very next page. This is the page we're on right now. Page 79 says, the Holy Spirit helps us. The Holy Spirit helps us learn about Jesus. The Holy Spirit helps us pray. The Holy Spirit helps us make good choices. It looks like so before we do the activity, we receive peace from the Holy Spirit, and it's important to know that. So it looks like there's an activity on page 79, and it says, color the letters of your prayer to the Holy Spirit. So the activity wants you to color these letters in right here. So please pause this video now and do that. Please pause this video. Welcome back. Thank you for completing the activity. The letters inside the bird or the dove, which is a symbol for the Holy Spirit, say, Holy Spirit, help me. And that's a prayer that you can pray every day. You can even pray it more than one time a day if you want. And the Holy Spirit will always be there to help you. Okay, so let's turn to page 80, which is the very next page. It's our faith summary page. It looks like this. This is the page we're on right now. And the faith summary says, the Holy Spirit guides us. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are the Trinity. So today we learned and we talked about how the Holy Spirit guides us and helps us be kind. So let's close our lesson in prayer today. So please fold your hands. And we pray. Dear Jesus, 
help me know the Holy Spirit so he can guide me as I help others. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Great job, boys and girls. So later today, you can trace the letters in the activity at the top of this page, and you can read this story at the bottom together with your family. That would be a great thing for you to do. Thanks again for participating in this lesson. You did a great job, and I will see you next time for Chapter 14. Bye!